and welcome back to the FPV Noob Tube, a channel for noobs, by noobs. And today I'm going to show you how to change the channel on this using this. So if you've got a TBS, uh, Team Black Sheep Unify Pro uh, Race Edition or whatever, as long as it's got the smart audio, which is a little white uh, wire that comes off of it, you're going to wire that up to your flight controller and you're going to be able to change your band and your channel and your power output on your video transmitter using your phone. Uh, you can also use OSD if you've got Betaflight OSD. I just happen to not be using that in most of my quads, so this is a lot easier for me. One thing you will need is a cell phone and a, uh, an adapter. So this is a micro USB, which is uh, what goes into my Android smartphone, and a USB OTG, which I don't know what that stands for, but it's a female USB. So your cable that you've got, this would go into your quad and this would go into your computer. So now it's going to go here and it's going to go there, just like that. So I will put some links in the description for where you can get one of these guys here. It came with uh, my wife's new Samsung Galaxy, yeah. And uh, I jacked it because she's not using it and I use it for my quad stuff now, so. So, regardless of which type of flight control you have, uh, this happens to be the uh, Hyperlite V, uh, I'm sorry, F4 flight controller. The back of which looks like this here uh, with Serge's awesome face on the back of it there. So pyrodrone.com or pyroflip RC is where I got it. I really really like these flight controllers if you can't tell. I've got two and then quite a few more. Uh, if you're curious about this one here real quick guys, I did drill the holes out and I put in some soft mounts right here uh, just like the race flight version. These soft mounts are actually extra soft mounts I got with the DYS F4 all-in-one so I was able to use those on that as well. But I digress. So uh, this is my audio wire that I have wired up all the way to this right here. Now what is this? My camera just, it's its a nice camera, it just will not focus that far. Actually I think I can almost get it. Hold on. Okay, right there. So that is the TX on my uh, flight controller. So you're going to be transmitting data from your flight controller to your VTX. So what that's going to mean is you're going to plug into here with your USB and then do what we just did earlier and you're going to be telling your VTX what to do. Super duper simple long as your white wire is wired up to a free transmit pad on your flight controller then we're going to go into Betaflight and set it up there. One more thing that you also will need is the app. So you do need an app for your phone to be able to change the VTX settings on your quad. And what it's going to be PID Flight VTX. I will put a link for that in the description as well. I got that on the Android uh, Marketplace. It was, I believe, about $2.50, which went up because it used to be $1.50. Um, guys, $2.50, that's... That's less than a pair, of, a set of props. So, way worth it. Way worth it. That's less than like some dial props or something, guys. So just, just spend the money and just, it's just gonna be amazing. You're not gonna have to worry about. I mean, look at this, guys. It, it's shoved in here. Where's the button? So the button's way over here. I've got to get something long and skinny to stick in there and, and hit my button, and then I'm putting pressure on my flight controller because my my VTX is sitting on top of my flight controller. Then I'm looking at the, I'm look, I'm looking at the the lights and stuff on the VTX trying to figure out which is which and what band is it on and what channel is it on. No more. Um, you can, Like I said, you can also change these settings in your Betaflight OSD, uh, but to me this is just going to be a heck of a lot easier as long as you've got access to your USB port on your quad. Uh, it's pretty easy to just plug and play and you're good to go. So I'm going to jump right into uh, a screen capture of my phone, of me using this app super duper easy uh, and we're gonna go from there alright guys I'm using AZ screen recorder it's gonna show up at the top left here in a second you wanna make sure that your app PID flight VTX is open before you plug in your quads so we're gonna open that here 
and we're going to plug our quad in and this is going to pop up in some way or another so we're going to back out of this bring us back to the app this will show we're going to click use as default and click OK and now we've got some settings so we've got some band settings we've got some channel settings power settings and pit mode you will notice we click on band we have all the bands available to the VTX we're using so we can click B E F whatever I like to use A so if we click on channels you'll notice all the channels that are available to us I like to use 8 uh, we'll just click on one show you how it works super easy and then you'll also notice that we have power settings so besides the 25 and 200 milliwatt power settings we have like 5 and 800 it's just going to depend on your VTX now you'll notice if I click on 500 and I click set and save and upload the settings that after it saves it's actually going to be back down to 200 milliwatts it did not save the setting that's because my VTX is actually not unlocked so you can unlock your VTX uh, I think most places it's not legal to use that type of power um, so I'm not using it alrighty so I've got my quad plugged into Betaflight and we're connected so we're gonna go to ports and I've got this one here uh, obviously you never want to mess with this guy here uh, it tells you here do not disable MSP otherwise you could if you don't know what you're doing you may have to reflash and erase configurations you won't be able to get back into your flight controller anyways uh, if you looked at the flight controller when you wired up your signal wire to the TX on it it's gonna have a number one two or three or six or whatever so the one that I wired to was it said TX three and on the flight controller there was also an RX3 uh, you would see something like this so you would see RX but what we did is TX3 so we're not gonna click this no we're not gonna click this no none of this we're gonna come all the way to here under peripherals and per peripherals <laughs> and we're gonna click the drop down menu and we're gonna select TBS smart audio right there alright so we're gonna do that make sure none of this other stuff is clicked all this is okay but under the UR3 or whichever number you're using you don't want anything else clicked keep that auto and we're gonna save and reboot and that is that guys check it out <laughs> got a little light set up so that is going to do it guys for today's short instructional video on what I've got today um, I want to send a few special thanks to the guys all of you guys over at the FPV noob tube not only for just sticking around uh, and supporting me and what I'm doing and supporting the whole community and what we're doing and we're trying to, to give you guys just the most just the bestest <laughs> the most bestest content we can possibly give you guys uh, I am super rejuvenated and reinvigorated and just ready and roaring to go to to sit here in front of this camera and, and give you guys more and more and more and more and more content. Uh, I know it's been a little while since I've, I've made a decent video and there's been a lot of vloggy type stuff going on. Uh, that's just what my life has been a lot of right now. Uh, is that English? I'm not sure. But so... Uh, this is the Dequad Obsession, you guys, and that looks great in that lighting, right? Look at that, it's like glowing. So, all you guys at the FPV Noob Tube, even the ones that did not directly contribute, contributed, whatever, uh, <laughs> uh, helped get this thing in my hands. Uh, the Session, the, the Dequad, the motors, the ESCs. Uh, just a whole box of other stuff that you guys uh, pitched in and got for me. I just, I cannot thank you enough. And I'm going to keep thanking you in every video and everything I make because it's just, like I said, it's just, it's just not enough. So I really, really, really appreciate it, guys. And it gave me uh, something to fly and something to help record with. And it also gave me so much more energy and so much more passion than what I already had for you guys and for the community. So, um,. Also, I would like to thank uh, YouTube user RRUready. Uh, I'm sure I put that up on the screen because that sounds confusing. He is awesome. He is in Louisiana. He is a racer for 
Team Vertitech, and uh, his video was brought to my attention to help bring this to my attention, the whole video today about how to do this. I just decided to go a little bit more into detail. So all that aside, guys, uh, I really appreciate the support. I really hope you stick around for more great things to come for the FPV Noob Tube. We've got, uh, we've got podcasts where we've got episode two out already. So we're going to be, episode three is going to be coming out soon. As soon as we can get some stuff worked out for hosting because SoundCloud does not want me over there anymore because I did the free thing and I'm, I'm all about free stuff. So, um, the podcast. And then we've got some other really cool fun stuff coming and I keep hinting at it and I still will not tell you what it is because we are not ready to reveal it yet. Um, but if you guys are not part of the FPV Noob Tube community page on Facebook, definitely check it out. That was my computer. Uh, definitely go check it out. The link is in the description. I will link uh, our Instagram because we post all kind of cool fun stuff over there. And then we're going to be having a contest coming up soon. You get your quad stuff picture hosted on the FPV Noob Tube Instagram. So that's coming up the first Friday of every month. So, which is, what's today? Thursday? Tomorrow! <laughs> so, I just reminded myself of that. Anyway, guys, take it easy. Thank you very much. Be safe. As always, I forgot what to say. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hey, so I almost forgot we're in selfie mode now, if you can't tell, because I just broke everything down, and I realized that I wanted to ask you guys, and I wanted to tell you guys that we are super duper duper open to help considerations and, and stuff like if you guys want us to make a video about something and I say us but you only see me here but if you've noticed that uh, Mr. Hoover uh, is also part of the channel and that means we also do have a few other content creators on the channel as well besides just me if you want us to make a video about something let us know either uh, put in the comments or email us at the FPV tube at gmail.com uh, or join the FPV Noob Tube community Facebook page, like I said before. Let us know there if you'd like us to make a video about whatever, instructional stuff, if you want us to do tricks, if you want us to do anything, just let us know. Take it easy, guys. See you later.